Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate an ActiveX toggle button and a macro associated with its click event. We use this to toggle between ascending and descending sort order. Toggle button is a control which executes one action when clicked first and a different action on the second click. It has two states on and off wherein the button alternates or toggles between the two. It can have a value of true where it appears as pressed when the button is selected or the value false appears unpressed when unselected. Presently you are uh, viewing the toggle button which is unpressed. In this example, we toggle between ascending and descending sort order for values in column D. Here we click. So the sort order changes to descending sort order. The toggle button appears pressed with a green background and its value is reflected here in cell A2 which is true and the caption on the toggle button is to get ascending order because it has already sorted in descending order. So clicking again will sort in ascending order, caption will appear as get descending order and the value appears as false. And the toggle button is unpressed. Now we come to the visual basic editor and we view the macro which is associated with the click event of the toggle button. This macro is triggered on clicking the toggle button and it must be located in the code module of the worksheet containing the toggle button which is sheet 1 where the toggle button is located. On top of the code module there are two drop down boxes, one on the left and one on the right. On the left side we can view all the controls like the toggle button which are located in the worksheet. We select this. On selecting a control all the events which are associated with the toggle button will appear on the right. You can view these, the change event, the click event, the double click event and so on. We select the click button and now we are viewing the macro. The event handler sub procedure which is written for the click event of the toggle button. Here. Here we have explained the toggle button as we were just discussing. We start with a dim statement. Here we move this so that we get a better view. And we have this variable to determine the total number of rows in column D the total number of rows with data. This is the data which will be sorted in descending or ascending order. Now we start with the first possibility. When we click the toggle button and its value is true, the toggle button appears pressed. The data in column D appears sorted in descending order. Here is the code for sorting in descending order. The range covered is from cell D2 in the same column D till the last row which has data and we sort it in descending order. The caption which appears is get ascending order because the data is already sorted in descending order. The back color of the toggle button appears in green. 
so this is what happens when the toggle button is clicked and it appears pressed the second possibility is where the toggle button is clicked again it will appear unpressed the value property will display false the sorting will be done in ascending order the back color for the toggle button will will be set to red color and the caption will be to get uh, get descending order because the data has been sorted in ascending order so this is how we run the macro now coming back again to the worksheet we just execute uh, we just uh, click the toggle button again we just illustrate this again on clicking the toggle button the values the data are sorted in descending order and clicking it again the sorting is done on ascending order caption appears to get descending order and the toggle button appears unpressed with red background with the value false we hope you found our tutorial useful thank you